ready to turn your passion into profit. I love that energy. Today, we're diving deep into the world of affiliate marketing. Ooh, a good one. To equip you with the knowledge to succeed in 2024 and beyond. We've got a stack of resources to unpack. Yeah. Including insights from Shopify. Yeah. Sean Ogle's six-figure affiliate journey. Right. And even a peek into Central Media's AI-powered strategies. It's really fascinating how affiliate marketing has exploded in recent years. Like, yeah. Like Shopify's report highlights it as an $8 billion industry. $8 billion. Yeah. Wow. And it's only growing. Okay, that definitely piques my interest. But before we get ahead of ourselves, sure. let's break it down. What exactly is affiliate marketing? So in essence, it's performance-based marketing. Okay. You recommend a product or service. Right. Someone buys it through your unique affiliate link. Uh-huh. And you earn a commission. Right. It's like being rewarded for sharing something you love. So instead of just like telling my friends about that awesome new coffee shop. Yeah, I could be earning a little something extra for spreading the word. Exactly. I like the sound of that. And that's what makes it so appealing. You're essentially monetizing your passions or expertise. Right. Now, it's not about bombarding people with sales pitches. Okay. Sean Ogle, who's built a six-figure business through affiliate marketing since 2014, wow. emphasizes building trust and genuine relationships with your audience. That makes sense. Yeah. People are more likely to buy something if they feel like it's a genuine recommendation from someone they trust. Precisely. It's about becoming a trusted advisor in your niche. Okay, so let's talk about finding your niche. Yep. Do you go for something you're already passionate about? Right. Or do you follow the money even if it's not something you're personally interested in. That's the age-old question. Right. Passion is powerful. Imagine creating content about something you could discuss for hours. Yeah. That genuine enthusiasm will shine through and resonate with your audience. I can see that. Yeah. Like if I was super passionate about like ancient Rome, right. I could create a whole blog or YouTube channel dedicated to Roman history. Sure. And recommend books, documentaries. Sure. Even travel packages. Exactly. Yeah. And if Roman history isn't your thing, what is? What topics could you talk about endlessly with genuine enthusiasm? That's a good place to start. Okay. Now, while passion is important, yeah, it's also crucial to validate your niche. Validate. What do you mean by that? It means making sure there's an actual audience for your passion. Oh, okay. This is where research comes in. Tools like Google Trends which Central Media utilizes, right. can help you understand what people are searching for. So it's like being a detective looking for clues about your audience's interests and needs. Exactly. You want to find a niche that's both something you're passionate about and something people are actively seeking information on. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Now, let's say you found your perfect niche. Okay. You're fired up yeah. and ready to start promoting products. Right. Where do you even begin? It seems like there are endless affiliate programs out there. Don't get overwhelmed. Okay. A great starting point is to look at platforms you already use and understand. Okay. Amazon Associates, for example, yeah. is a fantastic option for beginners. Amazon Associates. Tell me more. They have a massive catalog of products. They do, yeah. And chances are your audience is already familiar and comfortable buying from Amazon. So you're leveraging that existing trust and familiarity. Exactly. Smart. But how do you actually choose which products to promote? I mean, Amazon has... Like everything. That's where your niche research comes in handy. Okay. Let's say you're passionate about um, Yorkie dogs. Okay. You could focus on promoting Yorkie-related products like grooming supplies, right. toys, or even training guides. A whole media empire built around Yorkies. I love it. Exactly. But how do you know which products will actually make you money? That's where understanding your audience and choosing the right products for them is key. It's not just about promoting what you think they might like. Right. It's about knowing what they're already searching for and struggling with. This takes us back to that detective work we talked about earlier. Right. Using tools like Google Trends to see what people are searching for. Exactly. But what about promoting products beyond Amazon? Absolutely. There are countless affiliate programs outside of Amazon. Really? Many companies, especially in the software and digital marketing space, okay. have their own affiliate programs. So how do you find these hidden gems? Right. It feels like a jungle out there. It can feel that way, but that's where resources like BrianGarvin.com can be incredibly helpful. Brian Garvin. Yes. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. Okay. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. Simply submit your name and email right? and click the verification link sent to your email address. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. But let's say you've got your niche. 
Okay. You found some promising products. Right. What's next? Yeah. Did you start blasting out your affiliate links everywhere? Not quite. You need a platform. Okay. A home base for your affiliate marketing efforts. So we're talking about building a website. Exactly. Your website is your affiliate marketing HQ. Okay. It's where you'll create valuable content, build your email list, uh -huh. and ultimately drive those affiliate sales. Okay. Building a website. Yes. That's... Sounds a little intimidating. Really? I'm not exactly tech whiz. You don't have to be. There are tons of user-friendly website builders out there. Okay. Yeah. Like Hostinger. Yeah. Which make it surprisingly simple to create a professional-looking website, even if you've never touched a line of kind. That's a relief. Yeah. But what about the content itself? Sure. What kind of content actually converts visitors into buyers? That's where things get really interesting. Think beyond basic product reviews. Okay. Sean Ogle, for example, yeah. created a comprehensive guide to building a niche site Okay. within that guide. Yeah. He seamlessly weaves in affiliate links for hosting services, yeah. email marketing tools, right? all the things someone would need to replicate his success. It's like he's saying, hey, if you want to achieve what I've achieved, yeah. here are the exact tools I recommend. Exactly. That's much more powerful than yeah. a generic buy this product message. Exactly. Provide value, showcase your expertise, right. and naturally weave in your affiliate recommendations. Okay. Another powerful strategy is creating comparison posts. Comparison posts. Exactly. Let's say someone is trying to choose between two different cameras. Okay. You could create a detailed comparison post. Wow. Outlining the pros and cons of each camera, All right. highlighting key features, uh -huh. and even sharing sample photos. Then, naturally, incorporate your affiliate links for both cameras. So you're acting as a trusted advisor, helping people make informed decisions. Exactly. You're providing value upfront, which builds trust and increases the likelihood of people clicking on your affiliate links. Now that we're starting to unpack the strategies, right. let's shift gears and talk about getting those all-important leads. Okay. What are some effective ways to attract potential customers to your affiliate offers? That's where understanding the power of content marketing comes in. Okay. Imagine creating high quality blog posts, yeah. videos, yeah. Yeah. or even social media updates that provide valuable information related to your niche. Right. When people find your content helpful, yeah. they're more likely to trust your recommendations. So it's about becoming a go to resource in your niche, yeah. building that you know, like and trust factor. Exactly. But how do you get people to actually find your content? That's where SEO comes in. SEO. Search engine optimization. Right, yeah. It's about optimizing your content so that it ranks higher in search engine results pages like Google. SEO. Sounds a bit technical. Yeah. Break it down for me. Think of it this way. When someone searches for something related to your niche, you want your website or content to show up on that first page of Google results. Right. SEO helps you do just that. Ah, so it's like being at the top of the list yeah. when someone's looking for what you offer. Precisely. And while SEO might seem daunting at first, uh, hmm. there are resources available to help you master the basics. Speaking of resources, yeah, yeah. you mentioned BrianGarvin.com earlier. Yes. Is that something that could help with SEO? Absolutely. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com okay. and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. Simply submit your name and email right. and click the verification link sent to your email address. Right. It covers SEO basics and much more. That sounds incredibly valuable. It is. But getting back to lead generation. Right. Are there any other strategies besides SEO yeah. that are particularly effective for affiliate marketers? Absolutely. Another powerful approach is leveraging social media platforms. Social media, right? Think about where your target audience hangs out online. Are they on Instagram, right. TikTok, the, Facebook? It's about meeting your audience where they are. Exactly. But how do you effectively use social media for affiliate marketing? Yeah, how do you Instead of just blasting out affiliate links, right. focus on building a community. Okay. Create engaging content. Mm -hmm. Share valuable insights. Right. And interact with your followers. Build relationships and establish yourself as a trusted resource. So it's about building that 
like and trust factor on social media, just like with SEO. Exactly. When people trust you, yeah, they're more likely to consider your recommendations, including your affiliate offers. That makes sense. And don't be afraid to get creative with your social media content. Creative? How so? Think about using a mix of formats. Okay. Videos, stories, mm -hmm. live sessions, mm -hmm. even behind the scenes glimpses into your life or business. Right. People connect with authenticity. Yeah. So don't be afraid to show your personality. I like it. It's not just about being a faceless brand. It's about showing up as a real person. Yeah. So we've covered SEO and social media for lead generation. Right. Are there any other strategies that affiliate marketers should have in their arsenal? Email marketing is another powerful tool for driving affiliate sales. Email marketing. Isn't that a little old school? Not at all. Email marketing is still one of the most effective ways to nurture relationships with potential customers. Okay. And promote your affiliate offers. Okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more about how it works. The key is to build an email list. Okay. You can do this by offering something valuable in exchange for people's email addresses. Right. A free ebook. Yeah. A discount code. Right. Or even just access to exclusive content. So it's like a trade. They, they give you their email address. Yeah. And you give them something valuable in return. Precisely. Once you have their email address, okay. you can stay in touch, provide them with valuable information related to their interests, and strategically promote your affiliate products or services. I can see how that would be much more effective than just randomly emailing people who may or may not be interested. Right. <laughs> but how do you make sure your emails actually get opened and read? That's all about crafting compelling subject lines okay providing valuable content right and segmenting your email list so that you're sending the right messages to the right people segmentation you lost me there segmentation simply means dividing your email list into smaller groups okay based on shared characteristics or interests okay for example yeah if you know some people on your list are interested in dog training Right. You could send them targeted emails with affiliate links to dog training courses or products. Ah, so it's about sending personalized emails mm -hmm. that are actually relevant to the recipient. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. But managing all of this. Yeah. The content. Right. The SEO. Mm -hmm. The social media. Yeah. The email marketing. Right. It sounds like a lot to handle. It definitely can be. But remember, you don't have to do everything at once. Okay. Start with one strategy. Right. Master it. Yeah. And then add another. Okay. And there are always tools and resources available to help you streamline the process. Speaking of resources. Yeah. You know where I'm going with this, right? Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. Okay. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Right. Simply submit your name and email. And click the verification link sent to your email address. Right. It provides a roadmap for building a successful affiliate marketing business step by step. Sounds like a great place to start for anyone feeling a little overwhelmed. <laughs> but before we move on, sure. let's talk about automation. Okay. I've heard whispers about using AI to simplify the affiliate marketing process. It's true. AI is changing the game for affiliate marketers. Really? Tools like those used by Central Media no. can help you automate tasks like content creation, right. email marketing, right. even social media management. Wait, AI can write my blog posts for me? In a way, yes. Wow. AI-powered writing tools can help you generate content ideas, well, okay. write product descriptions, mm -hmm. and even create entire blog posts. However, it's important to remember that AI should be used as a tool to enhance your workflow, right? not replace your creativity and expertise entirely. So it's still important to bring your own unique voice and perspective to the table. Exactly. Even if you're using AI to help you with the technical aspect. Exactly. AI can be a powerful ally in your affiliate marketing journey. Yeah. But it's essential to use it thoughtfully and strategically. This is all so fascinating. It's like we're uncovering the secret sauce of successful affiliate marketing. Right. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, sure. let's pause here for now. Okay. We've covered a lot of ground. From the basics of affiliate marketing to finding your niche, right? choosing products, mm -hmm. and even building your platform. And we've only just scratched the surface. Exactly. But you're right, it's a lot to digest. So for now, let's take a breath, let all this information sink in, and we'll pick up where we left off in the next part of our deep dive into the world of affiliate marketing. Okay, so we've laid the groundwork, explored finding our niche, picking winning products, and even touched on building our online HQ. Right. Now let's dive into the real nitty gritty. 
okay. crafting content that actually converts. That's where the magic truly happens. Yeah. You can have the best products and a beautifully designed website. Right. But without compelling content, you're just shouting into the void. So no more shouting into the void. No more. Give us the inside scoop on creating content that turns those website visitors into eager customers. Imagine this. Okay. You stumble upon a blog post that's not just a bland product description, right. but a captivating story about how that product solved a real problem for the author. Okay, I'm hooked. Tell me more. Let's say you're promoting a language learning app. Okay. Instead of just listing its features, mm. you could share your personal experience of struggling to learn Spanish, the frustration of traditional methods, uh -huh. and then boom, how this app changed the game for you. So it's about being relatable. Yeah. Sharing those struggles, those uh, aha moments. Right. People connect with authentic stories. Precisely. Mm. And remember Sean Ogle's success with his in-depth niche site guide? Yeah. He didn't just tell people to build a website. Right. He showed them exactly how he did it, weaving in his recommended tools and resources along the way. It's like he's saying, follow these steps use these tools and yeah. you can achieve the same amazing results. Exactly. It's inspiring and actionable. Think beyond basic product reviews. Okay. Create tutorials, write case studies, share your personal experiences, yeah. make it about the value you're providing, not just the sale. Okay, so we're creating amazing content. Yes. But content alone isn't enough. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We need to get those eyeballs on our work. Exactly. We touched on SEO earlier. But how do we make sure our content isn't getting lost in the vast sea of the internet? So SEO is like a long-term strategy, okay. building authority and visibility over time. Right. But there are other ways to give your content an immediate boost. Okay. Especially when you're just starting out. Yeah. One effective approach is paid advertising. Paid advertising. Yes. Like those ads that pop up on social media or search engines. Exactly. Platforms like Google Ads and Facebook Ads allow you to target your ideal audience with laser precision. Wow. You can target specific demographics, oh, yeah. interests, even yeah. behaviors, ensuring your content reaches the people most likely to be interested in what you're offering. So instead of hoping people stumble upon my content organically, yeah. I can pay to put it directly in front of them. Exactly. Think of it as an investment. All right. When done right, paid advertising can be a highly effective way to drive traffic to your website, grow your email list, uh, uh, uh. and ultimately boost your affiliate sales. That's a great point. But I have to admit, the world of paid advertising seems a bit overwhelming. Sure. Where do you even begin? Start by understanding your target audience. Okay. Who are they? Yeah. What are their pain points? Mm -hmm. What are they searching for online? Right. Once you have a good grasp on your ideal customer, okay. you can start exploring different advertising platforms and crafting compelling ad campaigns that resonate with them. And I'm guessing this is another area where BrianGarvin.com comes in handy. Absolutely. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com okay. and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. Simply submit your name and email right. and click the verification link sent to your email address. Right. It provides insights into navigating the world of paid advertising, Yeah. especially for affiliate marketing. I'm sending a theme here. Hmm. BrianGarvin.com seems like a treasure trove of affiliate marketing wisdom. <laughs> Yes. I'll definitely have to check it out. Yeah. But let's shift gears again for a moment and talk about another crucial aspect of successful affiliate marketing, building trust and credibility. Yes. We touched on this earlier, right. but I can't emphasize enough how important it is to establish yourself as a trusted resource in your niche. Absolutely. I totally agree. People are more likely to buy something if they feel like they know you, like you, right. and trust your judgment. Exactly. And one powerful way to build that trust is through social proof. Social proof. Yes. Yeah. It's about leveraging the experiences and opinions of others to validate your recommendations. Okay. Think about it when you're considering buying a product online. Yeah. What's one of the first things you do? I check the reviews. Exactly. We naturally look to others for validation. Right. And the same principle applies to affiliate marketing. Okay. By incorporating social proof into your content. Yeah. You can increase your credibility and make your recommendations more persuasive. Okay, I'm on board. But how do we actually incorporate social proof into our affiliate marketing efforts? There are several ways to do this. Yes. One effective approach is to showcase testimonials from satisfied customers. Okay. If you're promoting a product, reach out to people who have used it right. and ask if they'd be willing to share their experiences. So it's like those customer testimonials you see on websites, Definitely. real people sharing their positive experience. Exactly. 
And those testimonials can be incredibly powerful. Yeah. Especially if they come across as genuine and relatable. Right. Another way to leverage social proof is by featuring case studies. Case studies. Yes. Case studies are in-depth analyses of how your product or service has helped others achieve specific results. Mm. They provide concrete evidence of your offering's effectiveness mm -hmm. and can be very persuasive. So it's about showing, not just telling, right. how your affiliate products have made a real difference in people's lives. Exactly. Case studies are particularly effective for promoting high-ticket products or services okay. where people are looking for that extra level of assurance before making a purchase. This is all so insightful. It's like we're peeling back the layers of successful affiliate marketing, yeah. revealing the strategies that truly move the needle. And there's still so much more to uncover. That's right. We've still got more ground to cover in our affiliate marketing deep dive. We do. So for now, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, okay. we'll continue our exploration with even more actionable insights and strategies. Welcome back to our deep dive into the world of affiliate marketing. We've explored finding our niche, creating killer content, right, and even touched on the power of social proof. Yeah. What's next on our journey to affiliate marketing success? Now it's time to talk about turning those leads, those interested visitors, into loyal customers who trust your recommendations and ultimately drive those affiliate sales. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. We've got people's attention. Right. Now, how do we nurture those relationships and guide them towards making a purchase? This is where the power of email marketing really shines. My email mar Remember we talked about building an email list earlier? Right. Offering something valuable in exchange for an email address, like a yeah. free ebook or exclusive content. Exactly. Your email list is like a gold mine. Okay. It's a direct line to an audience that has already expressed interest in what you have to offer. Okay. I'm seeing the value here, but how do we make the most of this gold mine? Right. How do we turn those email subscribers into buyers? It's all about providing consistent value. Okay. And strategically weaving in your affiliate promotions. Right. Don't just bombard your subscribers with sales pitches. Right. No one likes feeling like they're constantly being sold to. Exactly. Instead, think about the problems your audience is facing, the information they're seeking. Okay. Create valuable email sequences that provide solutions. Right. Insights, even entertainment related to their interests. So it's like we're becoming their trusted advisor. Yeah. Their go-to source for information and guidance. Precisely. And within those valuable email sequences, you can naturally incorporate your affiliate recommendations. Okay, so it's not just about saying, hey, buy this product. It's about seamlessly weaving in those recommendations exactly. within a larger context of value and helpfulness. Exactly. Let's say you're promoting a course on productivity. Right. Instead of just sending an email that says, check out this awesome productivity course, right. you could share your top productivity tips, the tools you use to stay organized, yeah. and then naturally mention the course as a resource for those who want to dive deeper. So it's about adding value up front, yeah. building that trust, exactly, and then presenting the affiliate product as a solution mm -hmm. that aligns with the content they're already engaged with. Exactly. And remember, segmentation That'll is key. Segmentation, right? The more targeted your emails are, the more likely people are to open, read, and take action. Right, segmentation. Dividing our email list into smaller groups based on their interests so yeah. we can send them highly relevant content. It's like those personalized recommendations you get on shopping websites, but for email. Exactly. The more relevant your emails are, yeah. the more engaged your audience will be, and the higher your chances of converting those subscribers into buyers. This is making so much sense. Yeah. But I have to admit, managing email sequences, segmenting lists, crafting compelling content. Right. It sounds like a lot to juggle on top of everything else we've discussed. It can feel overwhelming. Yeah. But remember, you don't have to be an email marketing guru overnight. Right. Start simple, experiment, and gradually build your email marketing prowess over time. And I'm guessing this is another area where our friend Brian Garvin can lend a helping hand. You know it. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com okay. and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Right. Simply submit your name and email okay. and click the verification link sent to your email address. Right. It provides valuable tips and strategies for mastering the art of email marketing for affiliate success. You're speaking my language. That free guide seems like a must-have for anyone serious about making affiliate marketing work for them. It 
is. But I think it's important to acknowledge that, you know, yeah. success doesn't happen overnight. Right. There will be challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt along the way. Absolutely. Affiliate marketing is a journey, not a get-rich-quick scheme. Right. It takes time, effort, and a willingness to learn and adapt. So what advice would you give to those who are just starting out Sure. and maybe feeling a little overwhelmed? Yeah. What are some key things to keep in mind? First and foremost, be patient. Okay. Building a successful affiliate marketing business takes time. Yeah. Don't expect to see overnight results. Right. Focus on providing value, building relationships, right. and consistently putting in the work. That's like planting a seed and nurturing it over time. Exactly. It takes time for that seed to grow into a strong, thriving plant. Exactly. And just like a plant needs water and sunlight to grow, your affiliate marketing business needs consistent effort and attention to thrive. That's a great analogy. Mm. But patience isn't always easy. I know. Especially in the fast-paced world of online business. Right. What else can help us stay motivated and on track? Set realistic goals. Okay. Don't try to do everything at once. Right. Break down your larger goals into smaller, more manageable steps. Okay. This will make the journey feel less daunting and allow you to celebrate those smaller wins along the way. Small wins lead to big victories. I love that. Yes. But even with small goals, it's easy to get discouraged, especially when you're comparing yourself to others. That's why it's crucial to focus on your own journey. Okay. Don't get caught up in comparing yourself to others. Yeah. Everyone's path is different. Right. Celebrate your own progress. Learn from your mistakes mm -hmm. and keep moving forward. Easier said than done, right? I know. Sometimes those voices of doubt creep in. Right. What can help us silence those voices and stay focused on our own unique path? Surround yourself with a supportive community. Okay. Connect with other affiliate marketers, join online forums, attend webinars. Right. Sharing your experiences, challenges, and victories with like-minded individuals can provide invaluable support and motivation. That makes a lot of sense. It's like having a team of cheerleaders cheering you on even when things get tough. Exactly. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. Yeah. There's a whole community of affiliate marketers out there who have faced similar challenges and celebrated similar victories. And I bet there are resources out there to help us connect with this amazing community. Absolutely. In fact, you can find a thriving community of affiliate marketers over at, top, you guessed it, topbriangarvin.com. Make sure you visit briangarvin.com. Yes. And get your free affiliate guide titled... 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. That's it. Simply yeah. submit your name and email. Right. And click the verification link sent to your email address. They have a forum where you can connect with other affiliate marketers. Oh, wow. Share tips, ask questions, and support each other's journeys. This is incredible. It's like we've unlocked the secret formula for affiliate marketing success. Right. Valuable content, targeted traffic, strong relationships, and a supportive community. That's it. What a powerful combination. And... The best part is it's all within your reach yeah. with the right knowledge, strategies, and mindset. Right. You can achieve your affiliate marketing goals and build the online business of your dreams. That's an incredibly inspiring message to end on. We've covered so much ground in this deep dive from the fundamentals of affiliate marketing to advanced strategies for driving traffic, building relationships, and staying motivated on your journey to success. Absolutely. It's been great. Thank you so much for joining us on this incredible adventure into the world of affiliate marketing. My pleasure. We hope you've gained valuable insights, practical strategies, and a renewed sense of excitement for the possibilities that lie ahead. Until next time, happy marketing.